Yeah, I thought I had a bottle of yikes. <laughs> 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 This is Jake Fee with the I'm Not Sober Drink Review, and thanks for tuning in. Today on the docket, y'all seen it, it's the Captain Morgan Private Stock Rum. Now, this rum here is 80 uh, proof, 40, 45% alcohol by volume. It's supposed to be a premium barrel stock rum. So, we're comparing it to the dark rums that got a little spice in it. And you know what I was thinking, man? This is a cognac glass, sifter or whatever. Then, you know, the bourbon got theirs and whiskey's got theirs. Um, tequila and rum really don't have their own glass, or do they? Drop a comment, let me know if they got their uh, own glass or not, and I'm just missing out on something. But check it. Um, a lot of people told me to try this. I forgot who told me to, uh, but it was like, I did the Bamboo, I did the, uh, the YOLO dark rum, I did uh, some Sailor Jerry's, I think. Is that, yeah, Sailor Jerry's and stuff like that. They say this right here, and I did the regular Captain, right? So they say this right here is the one. I got that Mount Gay in the back. I gotta try that one next. But if you had Mount Gay, if you had Bamboo, if you had any of those, let me know what you thought about them because I'm about to rate this right now. Without further ado, your boy Jake about to get in it. Let's get it. See, I'm all doing all this talking, trying to figure out how uh, how to actually get in this thing. And let me talk about the bottle though for a second. The bottle kind of dope. I like the way the style is for it to be 75% alcohol. I mean, uh, 750 mLs, but it's kind of dope. Got a wooden top, plastic uh, cork, but hey, mm, that smell is nice. Give it a little swirl. So let's see if it say anything about the private stock. Finders reserves from the Caribbean spice flavors tribute to 300 years of traditional uh, Super premium spirit, so let's just see what it's about, man. You know, it's cost about uh 30 bucks, I think, uh, like $29. So, see, I love rum smell, man. Rum has, has one of the best smells. It kind of reminds me of like a fruity, fruity cognac smell, like the Remy Martin type, but oh man, you can't smell in the barrel because I guess it got a little spice smell to it, too, though. All right, let's do it. Tastes fruity and creamy at the beginning, then when you breathe up, you do get a lot of spice to it. That's some good rum. It tastes kind of like light sugar, sugary, uh, fruity, and the sweetness, but then like you get some heat on the back end. I can swallow. I can swallow it pretty good. Oh man, the private stock is a good rum. Now, mm, I'm getting into these dark rums and I'm liking them. I'm liking them a lot. Oh, any rum drink this will be this will be good in. I, I'm thinking right now. So um, let me rate this. What kind of rating would I give this? Come on, Jake. Now the bamboo had like a uh, like a butterscotch banana banana taste. Let me get this, another sip of this. This got a sweet sugar cane taste, man. I like this a little better than a bamboo, and I think I gave that one like a four. So I'm gonna give this a 4.5 for rums. But the plantation rum is uh XO still better than this one. But this right here is not bad. The plantation is like 50 bucks, but this is 29. So hey, it's JP with I'm not sober drink review. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hey, I might uh do a mixed drink. Tell me what to uh mix this with. Yes, sir.